So because we're using treated lumber for this basement, because it's going to be buried, uh, every time we make a cut on this treated lumber, we have to put some more of this, uh, you know, uh, treatment on the cut to protect the wood from critters. And that's what Robert's been doing, you know. Uh, I'll cut the pieces. Robert's been uh, painting this stuff on. Some kind of copper coat, you know, keeps the bugs away. But anytime you cut treated lumber, if it's going to be buried, you need to treat it, treat the cut, uh, so that it, uh, so that the wood will last and not be invaded. So this corner of the basement's uh, getting some blocking right away. It's just a good practice because as you put weight on these studs, they'll want to move, you know, out of the way of it. And so blocking and sheathing uh, help to hold those studs in place so that they don't twist, rotate, bend out of the way of a, you know, weight that's uh, out of a compressive weight that's on top of it. Really important in this corner because right above uh, this, uh, this area of the basement on the, on the first floor is going to be a really heavy solar battery. When I say heavy, I'm thinking... This floor has got to hold up to two tons of battery. So no problem really, because if one of these studs, just one stud is blocked and sheathed properly, it can hold probably eight, 9,000 pounds just by itself. You know, I don't think, I don't know if you've ever seen me in suspenders before. I, I, uh, I've never been a fan of suspenders. I always thought they looked a little too country for my personal taste, but uh, I see the wisdom in them now, now that I have to bend and, stoop and stretch and stuff like that when I'm working these are far better than wearing a belt you know that just sort of pinches against you whenever you bend over or something like that so not bad attire for uh for for working this kind of work <laughs>
Well, it's concrete day. Time to pour the floor. It sounds like it's raining. It's raining. It looks a bit like work. Gosh, I feel terrible standing here just watching it happen. <laughs> Well, like I said, if you get two guys in here, one of us is going to Yeah, there's no room. One of them is going to get stepped on. Right. This is step one. It's floated, and um, now we just need to wait for it to set up a while so that we can properly trowel it. You know, it rains about uh, five days a year here in this valley, seriously. <clears throat> but no sooner... Do we get the slab poured in this thing and the rain comes? Thankfully, we had this huge tarp we could throw over it. And uh, so we've uh, protected the slab from, from uh, you know, destruction. Okay, well, the concrete is curing. And uh, we got the tarp pulled off. Got to get that folded up today. Let's go down and look at the concrete. Okay, so seems like it's curing nice, so we got a few small cracks, a couple. There's one there, one there. I don't see any others. Let's see. That's the one thing about concrete. It's not a matter of if it'll crack, but when. <laughs> 